Thank you for having me. I would just like to talk a little bit about your sort of food journey. What kind of food you grew up with? What kind of food you like to eat? Well, I'm Congolese and I used to eat mostly rice-based dishes. If you were to say my home dish, the thing that I love the most. A pondu amadesu, which is like um, cassava leaves and beans. Yeah, Madesu is beans. Madesu right? is beans. Yeah. And then usually. Look at me, I'm just saying. I'm like, she's like, I'm very impressed. I'm trying not to be like so overly nice. gassed, yeah, but so I really yeah, am yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. She's like, mm, Madesu is beans. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, and what? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was like, how'd she know that? And, and you, how would you have that on the plate? Would you have other things on there as well? Would it be like fried plantain or something? Or yeah, yeah, I mean, like, why not? Yeah, you put have all the things. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you're gonna make a big meal, mm. then you'd have all the things, and then you just put the things on your plate, and then mm. you eat all the things. And there would Rice, be like food, food, yeah. plantain, avocado. So you have everything, and then people just take and you eat. Okay. Mm. Talk me through fufu. fufu. I've heard about fufu. Well, fufu basically is your main carbohydrate. Okay. Um, if you're not having rice, so it's kind of like the traditional and. All over Africa, we, everyone has their own kind of version of it. Mm -hmm. So how fufu is made as a main carbohydrate is basically usually a pounded grain mm -hmm. that's mixed with water right. to make a solid kind of pulp that you then use with your stew. And you eat with your hands? Yeah, of you have to. It tastes yeah, better that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So tasty. When you, when you do that scoop, there's like a technique as well. It's really satisfying. Did you say you were vegan? No. No. I mean, I said I was trying to be vegan. Yeah. I didn't say I was vegan, because oh, yeah. that would be a lie. God loves to try it. I'm trying daily. <laughs> I will eat anything that I have to in order to stay alive. Right. I'm quite that guy. But at the same time, I don't know if I like. I could, like, you know, you know, like how some people fall out of planes and they have to eat each other. I don't know if I could do that. Uh, yeah, cannibalism maybe not so much. No, no. not my fave, I feel. Yeah. But I do think that most other things I'm game for. If you were to have to veer down, like, the sweet route, mm. what would be your, your like, Go to sweetie. Yeah. Mm. Dessert. Cheesecake. Oh, that's solid. I think that I have. Do you have enough fodder? Yeah, I think I have enough fodder. I think I have enough. Thank you so much. Thank you, Davina. We decided to go for our take on Congolese Pondu Yamadesu. The beans are soaked overnight and par cooked. The pondu, or cassava leaf, is cooked over the stove with warm stock to loosen it. Peppers, garlic, aubergine, spring onions are blended into an aromatic paste and added to the pan. Once the pondu is fragrant, the cooked beans are added and a scotch bonnet is placed in the pan for extra kick. Red palm oil is brought up to heat, spring onions are added and left to fry until fragrant but not browned and then poured liberally over the bubbling stew. Meanwhile, the smoked fish is deboned and flaked. For the fufu, cassava root is peeled, chopped, and blended into a smooth pulp. Warm water is added, and the mixture is stirred on the stove until it is a springy, pliable dough. The fufu is then shaped into balls. The pondu yamadesu is served with fufu, rice, plantain, scotch bonnet salsa, and smoked fish. For dessert, Basque cheesecake baked at high heat to develop the dark, burnished exterior. The cheesecake is served with an array of exotic fruits, the salis, baby pineapple, dragon fruit, and guava, sprinkled with a scattering of pistachio. And now that the dish is prepared, let's hand over to Miss Baby Soul.
And when you're done with your lamenting When you're out, do you take it? When you're in, do you make it? It gets rough on the rock and roll When you're out, you can't take it When you're in, you won't make it It gets tough when you're on the door Hello. not to trust it very much nowadays. I'm just saying. Well, well. No, 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 no. You can't have it both ways, baby. No, 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 no. I gave and then you can try to play me. No, 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 no. And now you try to be on my duty, baby, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. You've had your time. 
I love the clapping. I'm very excited. When the time is right, I'm looking at the screen, unable to dream, even though I've found a little peace of mind. I don't blame, I understand that you inspire me, but your love has brought me, so I'm not chasing reality. You're so engaging. friend. <laughs> Quite a few of you are my friends, aren't you? That makes me very excited, I shan't lie. So basi basically, yeah. Um, my mate Gus gave me a call and was like, do you want to come down and have a look at the studio? I was like, sick. And then I came down here and watched The Gentleman, the first series that happened. I can't remember his name. He was sick. He was great. Um, and I got a tour around the studio, and I was like, well, this is my new house. Especially, do you know what I mean? This is where we stay. This is where we, my bed is here. This is my, just bring me sleeping bag, I will stay. Yes. So, um, uh, so now I've invited you all to my house. This is my kitchen. Um, I, have, I have a personal chef called Vina. <laughs> well, actually, this gentleman here is the one. Yeah. You, you, you showed me all the food. I hope you're enjoying it. It's basically like a 5DB's take 
on my favorite dishes based mostly on Congolese cuisine. Isn't that awesome? I just basically said some stuff and they went off and made it. I mean, that's pretty darn awesome if you ask me, right? Thank you, 5DB Canteen. Thank you, beautiful human. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We should do more songs. Yes, yes. Good idea. Fantastic work. Sorry. How much is that dolly in the window? The one with the handbag for sale. How much is that dolly in the window? I do hate that dolly for. Friday morning, I'm out here shopping. Slick dress in the window, mannequin looking sick though. Money in my pocket Was not meant for this Feels like I'm being sold to Feels like I'm being told to How far will you go? How much will you pay? How much do you want it? Do you want to be the daughter? because it just happened. Oh, grrr. So this song, basically, yeah, so basically, this song is going to, hopefully, not hopefully, it's definitely happening, I'm still in disbelief, 
We're going to be recording it here at the studio at 5DB upstairs. And I am so chuffed. The way that I cannot actually cope. I can't believe it's true or real, but it is, isn't it? It's real, it's true. It's real. And we've seen this DJ because we live there now. So, cha. Thank you, Sue. That Sue, she's also my friend. It's not your place. I don't need to do explain. I'm not in your domain anymore. I'm free. Every day, expectations are laying at my door. And I say, no more. Back in the day, I was frightened of change. Didn't know what to say, how to be. You see, I refuse to be held to a notion that you're the direction to take. It's the boundary. Reborn, and I'm taking control of my thoughts. It's my life, I believe. My worth to be more than a number you store behind closed doors. Where's the truth? I'll take a stand. There's a fight to be fought in our minds. Stay informed, and we'll find the key. You may have caged me, so my need dictates me through structure. But I found freedom. for my band one more time, please. version of this song where I tell this story really well so I'm not going to ruin it by telling it again so what I'd like you all to do is go to YouTube look up Miss Baby Soul you heard me yes you did look up Miss Baby Soul yeah we not yeah everyone we're gonna look up Miss Baby Soul everyone yeah okay Google me nice and then you go to YouTube and you look up so far sounds live plans this platform's gonna be even more delicious than that one. It's a nice one, but this one's gonna be better. Cause there's food at this one. There's food, people. And that's 
never a bad thing. Um, what else am I going to say during this interlude? Uh, no, that's it really. I could have been your boyfriend. Love you completely. Taking good care of your needs. Being there when you wanted me. Why? Why, 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 You know what? You're gonna have to help me sing, you know? I made those plans without you. Okay, so it goes like this. Um, hold on, wait. <clears throat> la la la, ratata, like this. Made those plans without you. Can you do that? Made those plans without you. Got it? Made those plans without you. I should know made those plans without you. I'm really nervous about this song. It's new and it's about uh, combating combating the dark side of one's mind. <laughs> yes, I'm prepared. Oh my, what have we here? A situation full of fear But they've gone, you need a cure For this feeling so unsure Though things might seem hard to conquer You can't stay here any longer So if you take a step, step out the door Make a start, just start your day today Make a start, just start your day today Make a start, just start your day today. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? I'm not even gonna hide. Mm. Why, oh, why are you still here? Uh, the road ahead is yours to steer. Get in gear and break your tensions. Answer to those cruel questions. And I know that things seem dire, but you can push, push, push it higher. So when you get that step, step through the door, just take that step, step. Make a start, just start your day today. Make a start, just start your day today. Make a start, just start your day today. Oh, we 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 day. Can you clap a little? Yeah. Eh, that's right. And I'm just gonna crouch down while you do that and read these lyrics. Hey, take the time you need, but do it. Life's too short, so don't you screw it. All you need is a little composure to escape your sleepy slumber. Nothing on life worth having it come as easy. You're the only one that can make it breezy. So then you took a step of yours through that door. Hey, then you took a step, step away. Take the start, just start. I'm so nervous about that song because I love it so much and I'm really a stickler for lyrics, you know. They're important. Oh, what do I, they're important, the lyrics, isn't it? Yes. Not for everyone, but for me. I like, I like meaning what I say and saying what I mean, you know. It's a vibe still. Just my humble opinion. Also, do you like my shoes? I'm naked. <laughs> oh, I need to stop swearing. Anywho, this is our last song. That's exactly the correct answer. 
But for real, it is actually our last song. We have no more for you, it's done. Um, it's one that I wrote for my nephew, who is beautiful and not here, because he's 16 and that's what they do. Anyone with children, beware. I'm just saying. They're a nightmare once they reach 15. They're a nightmare, nightmare. But I've been told once he gets to 18, he'll be a darling and he'll look after me. Only two years to go. <laughs> oh, the pain. But this one's for him. Um, but also for anyone who's ever felt like... Um, ever felt, I ever felt like they needed guidance. Oh, 